In the doc world, cinematic often means a narrative structure that lets things unfold by themselves. It's about you going on a cinematic journey with them, the characters. There's not a single cinematic look, but often it's seen as low contrast and desaturated colors. That's because celluloid had that look, so it became a standard. In that sense, today it's often seen as being a grading thing, but it's also camera movement, composition, styling. Secondly, don't oversaturate images. Cinematic films are a synonym to high dynamic range and faded colors. TV has always been the opposite of that. And that's because TV has had much more saturation and contrast. So play with the fading of the colors to make them look natural, but don't do it too strong. This is a whole art in itself. One thing that is important to consider is making the skin tones look natural. You don't have to though. Many brilliant films have gone the opposite route to create a cinematic look. It's about creating a consistent look. So don't be locked into ignorant people saying that skin tones has to be natural. Cinematic is all about creating a consistent look for a story. That's not the same as looking real. Sometimes I write about stuff that I don't understand yet and that I might see clear in a year or two. I can be very emotional while I write, but I don't get emotional about my own lyrics after I've written them. To be able to perform them, to pass them on, I have to let go. Shoot in log mode on your camera so that it doesn't have too much contrast or saturation recorded in the files. But also lower the sharpening and noise reduction in the camera and learn how to do that in post instead. You need as much information as you can to be able to grade a film. At least that's the proper way of doing it. Think about using quality glass or don't. Maybe vintage glass has the look you're after. It's all about having an intent with the choices that you make. Often prime lenses are preferred when working towards making things look cinematic. Not being able to zoom brings about a different way of working. You can force yourself to work the same way with a zoom lens, but it takes practice. A lot of practice. With prime lenses, you're forced to think a different way. Think about camera movement. Using a gimbal or something like that doesn't mean your film will be cinematic, but the super stable movement is what many consider to be cinematic. But it can just as well be a handheld style. Sometimes handheld can make you feel closer to the story. Other times, the slow dolly moves that the Coen brothers love might be what you're after. For others, it's the locked off camera that Roy Anderson uses. Everybody has a preferred way of doing it. Think about composition and perspective. Il y a la photo du monsieur et son empreinte digitale. Et sur le dos, il y a son prénom, son nom, la date de naissance, le lieu. La profession et l'adresse. Chaque Tunisien qui veut faire une carte d'identité doit replier une fiche comme ça. Les fiches elles sont là parce que les gens vont brûler le, le commissariat de police. Tu vois déjà le, le, le lieu, il est, il est magnifique, c'est une ancienne maison. Je vois. On a allé Fakio. <rire> voilà. When I think about what I'm trying to say or who I'm portraying. The perspective I use has to strengthen that. This is something that 
Kodak decides what lenses, camera and other equipment I use. Choose a camera that's capable of creating a cinematic look. The Blackmagic cameras have mastered this in the lower price marketplace. What they have done is try to save as much dynamic range as you can. They've created a natural looking cinematic format that comes straight out of the camera. Sure, their cameras might not be the best ergonomic or feature-wise cameras, but shooting cinematic isn't about that. It's about shooting calculated things. If you still shoot in auto mode, on a DSLR for instance, stop it. Learn how a camera works. You need to use a manual mode if you're going to be able to control a cinematic look. Use light to tell the story. Light your scenes in a way that helps to tell the story. I like using few light sources. Others will want to use the boring three-point lighting. Be aware that using those styles often make your film look like everybody else's. That to me affects authenticity. I think overlit films draw you out of the story, but still I try to light everything I can. Often that builds on what I'm already experiencing in the place. I try to strengthen the light that's there to create a more balanced color and temperature and all that. And to make it possible to expose the image as it should be. Think about smoke or diffusers to play around with the style of the lighting. I love my haze machine and I often use white curtains to break up light in a more natural way. Okay, if you have any tips on uh, making a film cinematic, comment below. See you next week.